Xavier Lebrec, and I don't even remember how old I was when my mom became a goddess because it's been so long. My name is Jordan Wallenhopt, and I was four years old when my mom became a goddess through Athena. My name is Alexa. I was six years old when my mom became a goddess for Athena. My name is Nick Wilner, and my mom became a goddess when I was about two years old. My name is Evelyn Sesco, and I was seven years old when my mom joined Athena. My name is Rain Jolliker, and I was one years old when my mom started Athena. For a while, I thought it was makeup. I thought that she was going out and doing like, not Mary Kay parties, but something along those lines. She came home from work and she would have just like bottles of like different lotions and things like that. So I thought she just like sold like beauty products. So I was like, oh, my mom's like a hairstylist or something. I'm not really sure what's going on. The thing my mother always told me from a very young age when I asked her what she did for a living was she keeps mommy and daddy's happy forever. So I guess in a way, yeah, I did know what was going on. First, I felt, you know, before I knew kind of what she was selling, it was, you know, bath and spa products. I'm like, oh yeah, my mom sells, you know, bath and spa products and romance enhancements for this company. And then once I found out, you know, what else that was and what romance enhancements kind of entailed, um, it was a little bit, you know, more taboo. So I only told my closest friends. But then once I reached high school, it was like, oh, your mom sells romance enhancements? And I was like, yeah, and then it became, I was like really cool. She didn't really hide it from me at all, because like from a young age she would like help, she'd have me bring her like totes and stuff with her into the car, so like I always knew what she was doing, but I didn't have a problem with it. I just didn't know what to think about it, but like as I grew older it was like, oh this is actually like really cool. It's like, they had like happy sex life is like great, like honestly, go them. I had actually always thought it was kind of cool. Um, I always made the jokes because my mom also was a uh, sex educator at Planned Parenthood. I would always make the joke that she would teach uh, protection during the day and pleasure at night. My mother as a business owner is a very powerful woman. She knows what she wants and she's going to get it done. She always has been that way. It made me feel empowered almost to know that I have this, this amazing figurehead in my life. My mom is a, an amazing woman and I am able to look up to her. Seeing my mom as a business owner makes me feel inspired because Athena's was never just a job and it was also like a family. I think it's really sick. Um, she raised two kids on her own and has her own house and she like she works hard, but she parties harder, and um, she really just does whatever she wants, and that's always been like really admirable for me and my brother, so it's just really cool to look up to that. Powerful, devoted, and loving. Funny, outgoing, loving. Self-made, self-reliant, and um, selfless. The three words that best describe my mom are powerful, persistent, and beautiful. My mom is funny, and she's confident, and extraordinary. She truly is. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. I love you.